Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and now is as good a time as ever to put your printer through a printer torture test. That's right, we're gonna torture your 3D printer. You ready? Go. All right, all right. We're not actually literally going to take your printer outside and torture it. We're going to put it through a series of uh, prints that, that torture the, the abilities of the printer, such as overhangs and certain curves and certain small printable areas that stack in certain directions. Well, here, let me show you. First, let's go to Simplify 3D. All right, here's Simplify 3D, and here is the Castle Dice Tower torture test already preloaded. It's a nice model. It's got a it's got this cool cool staircase that goes all the way to the top. Let me pan down here. So the staircase itself goes all the way down to the bottom and when you when you roll a dice or roll the dice, roll a die, I guess, singular, plural, it 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 tumbles down the stairs and it comes out and that's and that's your roll. What makes this a torture test? are these things. So first, the gate will flip up. Cool, right? You can close it off and when the, when the dice come down the stairs, they, they stop right here. It's got little bumps that fit into either side. So, so this is a very tight tolerance right here. It'll be, I'll be curious to see if it prints. These right here, these are going to be difficult prints and quite torturous for the printer to attempt. Uh, it'll be neat to see. This archway here has a flat area and that's going to need some bridging. We'll see if the printer can bridge that. These indentations for bricks on the side, those are going to be interesting to see how a printer handles such a detail. Let's see, it's got some overhangs here and it's got some bridging it'll need to do in these gaps. The big, big torturous test though is going to come from printing the stairs. Let me show you. As the stairs are printed, they're almost printed in midair. So you'll see as it comes up here, there we go. You can kind of see how it, it first takes a, a filament strand and bridges it across and then, and then it fills it in afterwards. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can get in there and you can, you can kind of see what's happening. Ah, so right there, it's going to take filament and bring it across and then it will establish the fill in right there for the stairs. And that's, that's what becomes the stairs. And it does it all the way to the top. No wonder it's called a torture test. Up and up we go. All right, oh wow, look at that. The final stair at the top, it starts with the line way out here and then it bridges everything in there. That's almost a quarter of the round of this, this circular area. That'll be, that'll be very interesting to see if, it, if it's able to accomplish that. Wow, this is quite a torturous test here. I hope my printer can handle it. it says it's gonna take a little under seven hours to print and Simplify 3D is sometimes off on its measurements for time because it, there's certain things it can't take into consideration. So this will be an overnight print. Thankfully, I've already printed it I've already pulled it from the build plate and I want to show it to you. Once the object was printed, I pulled it off the build plate and look at this, here it is. It came out phenomenally well. There's a few areas of concern. One is this, this column, this, this not so vertical column. It's in a shape of a V. It, it fell down. There's, there's a spot right here underneath the main entryway where the filament is stringy. I don't know if it was the fact that it needed support or if it was the fan placement on the Wombot that caused this to get stringy. I'll, I'll have to investigate. On the inside, the gate looks a little stringy and I don't know if that's because the printer couldn't handle it or if because my settings were off, I'm probably going to side with my settings were off. Finally, with this print, the gate doesn't move. Again, I don't think this is really torturous 
times for the printer because I think, I think what happened was I was just extruding a little bit too much filament and it bonded to the sides and I can't, I can't lift the gate anymore. And I'm not, I am not going to force it because you end up with this and this is terrible. This was a test print that, that I did of this initially just to, to see how it was going, but uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't fare well. It didn't fare well. So I stopped the print. I, I, I configured some things different in the settings and I printed and it, it turned out okay. Well shoot you guys, that's it. That's, this is the printer torture test using the Dice Tower. There's links to it down in the description. Don't forget you can always shop at my Amazon affiliate links if you wanna help the channel out. It does help a great deal. Like this video if you like games. Like this video if you like rolling the dice. Like this video if you plan on printing one so you can test your printer and roll the dice as well. Share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I've got, I've got a ton more content coming your way. And as always. 95 cents. It's a five. Sure. High five. Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and this, this, uh, <laughs>